This video is gonna show you exactly how I would go and get my first 100 high level clients for free if I had to do it again, so stick around. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dom and we talk about all things SaaS and go high level. Last October, I won high level SaaS for gold award and on this YouTube channel, I'm gonna be documenting my journey from 200 customers all the way to 2000 customers. And I'm documenting the strategies and results along the way. Now, in the beginning of the video, I said how I would get my first 100 customers if I had to do it again, and uh, I kind of do. You see, recently, I've had a business partnership dissolve, and I'm kind of having to start over, changing niche and changing offers, and getting people onto my high level. Now, luckily, there wasn't any bad blood between the partners. We were just going in different directions creatively, and we thought it best to just split ways and part ways. Now, I retained the Lead Vortex brand as part of the deal, and I'm still gonna continue to service the 200 or so customers that we have, but all of the funnels and offers that we previously had running are no more. So it's almost like I'm starting over from scratch. As much as this video is gonna be a roadmap for you, it's gonna also be a roadmap for me, and I'm basically telling you what I'm gonna be doing over the next three to six months, and I've kind of broken it down into a bunch of phases, and I've gotten phase one and two underway. So having said that, let's actually jump right in, and I'll start breaking it down. And let's start with phase one. In fact, you should always start with this whenever coming up with anything that you're going to sell in business, in life, in general. This is not just a SaaS thing. Before selling anything online or off, you want to identify the problem that you're solving for your customer. And when you do that, make sure you know how to solve that problem. Now, I said before that my partnership dissolved and all my funnels and offers had come down, but it doesn't necessarily mean I have to change the core problem that I'm actually solving for my customers. I might just be attacking it from a different angle. Now, the core problem that I'm actually solving for my customers is showing them how to generate sales and leads from social media. Now, I previously took the approach that having a fully developed sales funnel and lead nurture automation is gonna make way more money than just driving traffic from social media to a simplistic looking stand store. And that's 100% true. Collecting leads through a full sales funnel and then automatically following up via lead nurture makes more money than a stand store. And while I could continue to pitch my software using this angle, uh, it's gonna be a really hard sell for people who are already making money through their stand store. That's because that's called an improvement offer. Basically what you're doing is you're taking somebody who's already getting a result and you're kind of just telling them you could be doing better. So by targeting somebody who had a stand store, they were already making some money, but me coming along and saying, but you could be making more money, is a, it's kind of a hard sell because the person, more times than not, was very comfortable where they were. Now, a much easier sell is showing somebody a brand new opportunity. This is something that the person most likely has never seen before. And High Level, in one of their biggest updates yet, has basically allowed us to do something that's never been done before on social media. With the latest update from High Level, you can just about eliminate the opt-in page entirely. By using comment automation, DM chat automation, and the new communities function, you can bring people off of social media and into your world and into your offers seamlessly through one-to-one -one interaction at scale. And this is gonna be the backbone of my new offer, which I'm gonna outline a little bit later. Okay, so now let's bring this back to the top, right? What problem are we solving? And the problem that we're solving with this particular framework is that we actually don't have to pull people anymore from a source like IG, we don't have to pull them to the link in bio anymore. Right? We're no longer pulling people off of social media to go down a sales funnel. And we're doing this for a couple of reasons. Number one is that a lot of people are pretty much desensitized to hearing the phrase link in bio, and that's gonna trigger sales resistance because people know when they go to the link in your bio, you're probably trying to sell them something. So what we're doing is we're actually removing a process that people are already uncomfortable going through. And instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them through a new process that they might be a little bit more comfortable with. We're also gonna avoid those warning screens. I'm sure we've all clicked on certain creators and we, you, you get a little warning that says this link might be unsafe. You've probably all seen those screens before. Well, they absolutely kill your conversions. And by eliminating the link in bio, we're also eliminating that warning screen. Now, instead of going to the link in bio, what we're doing is we're taking somebody from IG, and they're still having them stay on IG, but we're actually having them send us a DM. And then once people have sent us the DM, we can then use chat automation to collect all of their info, to fill out their customer record, essentially get them to opt in directly through the DMs, and then we can send them an offer or send them a link to a video or whatever it is that we want. We can opt them into a free course, and a high level is gonna do all of this background and all of this updating in the background uh, automatically. And that brings us to phase number two, testing the framework and getting a result. 
Now this should go without saying, but you never, ever, ever, ever sell any kind of a framework, never sell any kind of a system if you haven't tested it yet and you haven't got a result with it yet. And in fact, me and my partner, Reagan, we've been testing this framework for over four months and we've been getting absolutely mind blowing results with it. I'm seeing an almost 100% opt-in rate from the DM conversations that I'm having and Reagan's seeing the same. Even when we're sending traffic from a DM over to a landing page, the opt-in percentages are off the charts good. And the leads that come in are warm, they're targeted, and they are super, super engaged. These are high quality leads that we're generating from social media 100% for free. And the reason why these leads are so good is because they're seeing us first, they're making the first reach out to us, and then they're having a one-to-one -one conversation, even though it might not necessarily be with us personally, they're having a one-to-one -one interaction, and then they're never actually seeing an opt-in page, which is gonna trigger sales resistance uh, during the process. So by the time they get to actually see the offer, or they actually come to meet us, they're engaged, they know, like, and trust us, and it's a very quality lead. And now that we have a repeatable result, it's time to move on to phase three, where we actually get to build the offer. And if you remember from my previous videos, an offer is not your high level SaaS as a product and it's not a collection of features. Instead, what your offer is, is a framework designed to produce a certain result with a number of free bonuses thrown in so that it makes it really, really attractive. Now let's break my new offer down here on the whiteboard. And the framework that's gonna get them there is gonna involve comment automation, it's gonna involve DM and chat automation, and then either a community or a calendar automation, depending upon what they're selling, whether they're selling something that requires a one-to-one -one sit down or something you wanna just kind of drive them into a community to make more of an automated low ticket sale. But either way, we're gonna use a calendar or a community automation. And for the sake of my handwriting, we're just gonna call it a sales automation for this video. And then we're gonna actually give them a pipeline and a review solicitation automation so that people can see how well they are at their craft. So we're gonna put pipelines and reviews here on the board. This is our framework, this is our offer. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some things they might already be paying for and we're gonna throw them in for free. And those freebies are gonna include all the high level features that are available. The websites, the funnels, the CRM, the ad tracking, the integrations with social media planner. All of the features that are there are gonna be actually framed as free add-ons to the core framework. And the reason being is that my customers are probably already paying for those tools. And if they come over to my offer, they can now get them free. It's a really easy sale for me when it happens that way. But then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add one more bonus that's gonna make the whole thing a complete no brainer. Now you see the framework is all about collecting leads off of social media, but not everybody's already a good social media content creator and not everybody is able to create content that generates comments, which is then gonna kick off and trigger all of the high level automations. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put together a quick little uh, mini course here that's gonna be free. It's gonna teach them how to make that content. And by throwing in that content training, we now have a complete offer. So now what I have is a framework to extract free, warm, targeted leads off of social media and either send them down a sales funnel or have them book a phone call so that they can do a one-to-one -one sales presentation. And I'm also gonna add for free all of the tools they're already paying for so they can cancel a number, probably a couple hundred dollars a month worth of software tools. And I'm also giving them free training on how to actually create the content that's gonna generate the leads that they're probably not already creating. And the price for this framework built on top of high level is going to be $197 a month. By pricing at $197 a month, by the time they cancel all the things they're probably paying for, my offer is probably going to be a negative on their budget and on their business. And in offering all of that for just $197 a month, we just wrote a monster check that now we are gonna have to cash through a number of deliverables. But luckily, if we productize and we systemize all of these offers and all of these frameworks, it's not that hard to deliver at scale. So now I can pump a lot of people through the funnel at one time, and I'm not gonna bottleneck on a sales count. Everything that I'm actually gonna teach them on top of high level is actually gonna be built right into their account as soon as they log in the first time. And if I build the whole thing around custom values, all they're gonna have to do is go fill in the blanks and all of their stuff is gonna magically look like it belongs in their brand and they built it from scratch. This is gonna to lead to a huge decrease in churn because people are gonna get up and running very quickly. And I'm gonna show them how to do that at scale through a quick start guide. And in this quick start guide, I'm gonna show them how to get their domain active, 
how to set up their snapshot, and how to actually send an email, and how to actually put the links and hook up the automations to their social media accounts. Naturally, my users are gonna to wanna to make connections with each other, and they might have some help. So what I'm also gonna do, we're gonna create a members area, kind of, a, kind of a Facebook group of sorts, but built on high level, so that all the members can interact with each other. And this members area is also gonna house a bunch of free education showing them how to use the platform, and how best to get the results that were advertised when they were sold. And if my users can make just one meaningful connection with somebody else in the group besides us, they're gonna stick a lot longer. And that's the reason why I want my users intermingling with each other inside of a members area, inside of a community. And then of course, like anything software related, not everybody's gonna have it and there's gonna be hiccups and people are gonna miss things and things are gonna break. So what I'm gonna do is I already have this in place, but I just wanna reiterate it for this video, but there's gonna be robust help docs, and 24 seven chat support offered through Extendly because I am not tech support. I can pay Extendly a fixed fee every single month and they're gonna give me a 24 seven chat bubble right in the bottom of the screen when people are logged in. So the deliverables on the offer look like this. They're gonna have a preloaded snapshot into their account built all around custom values. So all they have to do is fill in the blanks. They're gonna be given a quick start guide to get everything up and running inside of 24 hours. I'm gonna give them a members area so that they can make one meaningful connection with another user, but also be able to kind of mastermind a bit with everyone on the platform. And then I'm gonna give them help docs and 24 seven chat support to help them when they encounter problems along the way in setting the software up itself. And then for the conversion and the actual sale to take place, I'm actually gonna test two different funnel types. Number one is gonna be a traditional VSL funnel. There's gonna be a simple opt-in page offering a free content training. And then when that, they're gonna opt into that, they're gonna watch probably a five to seven minute VSL uh, outlining the framework, why they should do it and actually show the software and make the actual offer. So it's gonna be a simple five to seven minute VSL. And then once they swipe their credit card, they're gonna land on a thank you page, which starts the quick start guide and the entire onboarding process. That's gonna be in place. And the second funnel that I'm actually gonna test out is gonna be a free course funnel. This one's a little bit different. It's meant to sell a little bit slower than a VSL funnel. Uh, so I think this one actually might convert a little bit better. But basically what's gonna happen is there's gonna be an opt-in page that everything gets pointed to on social media or in the DMs. I'm just gonna give people access to the course, which is gonna fire an email for them to go ahead and log into the free course. So either way, either through an opt-in or through a DM, they're gonna get access to the free course itself. Once inside the free course, it's gonna show them how to actually set up this automation, how the framework works, how to get the results that are advertised. And the whole time that they're going through this course on how this framework works, I'm giving them a link to actually try the software for two weeks free. So at some point in the course, I'm hoping that they're gonna click over to the order form to start their trial, get everything set up, and when they actually swipe their credit card to start the trial, they're gonna land over on the thank you page and go through the onboarding process and get set up that way on the software. And then once we have the offer fleshed out, we've got all the deliverables in place, and then we actually have the funnel built, it's time to move over onto phase four. And once we enter phase four, we're actually gonna start driving traffic organically for free into the funnel that we just built. And we're actually gonna do this in two ways. We're gonna use long form video like you're watching right now, and we're gonna use short form video like Instagram Reels or TikTok. And this is where having a partner is gonna help me because we're able to cover twice as much ground twice as fast. And that's because organic video traffic is all about reach and impressions. The more videos you can post to a profile, the more real estate you can take up, the more people who are going to see your stuff, and the more leads and traffic that it's gonna drive. It's really, really simple when it comes to organic video. If you post more, you're gonna get more traffic. And having twice as many people posting, the idea is that I'm gonna get twice as much traffic to the new offer. And let's actually start with long form video. Traffic generated from long form video like the one that you're watching right now is some of the highest quality traffic that you can see, you can get anywhere on the internet, organic or paid, it doesn't matter. Traffic coming from long form video on YouTube is warm, it's targeted, and the person already has a DIY mindset so you, the white label SaaS owner, can take a more hands-off approach when it comes to your product and your service. Now, let's contrast that against something like a Facebook ad where you're trying to interrupt somebody's scroll while they're trying to veg out after a long day. And that type of interruption style marketing usually leads to a very do it for me type customer. And I don't know about you, but I'm trying to build a SaaS business and not a digital marketing agency. I want my particular customers doing things largely themselves and they only contact me when something breaks. So for me, YouTube's gonna be the traffic source. 
And now with this in mind, we're actually gonna go head over to YouTube and find 50 topics related to the problem that our product is gonna solve. And we're gonna make videos on those topics and not give a duck about SEO or competition. And the reason being is that how high you rank in a particular search does not matter at all on YouTube. Let me say that again. Search volume and SEO rank does not matter on YouTube. All you need to do is find topics that people are searching for in volume because that means they're watching them. And all you have to do is create valuable, good quality content on that topic. The reason being is that we don't care about search. We wanna get into YouTube's recommended algorithm, which is 10 times more powerful than their search algorithm. I'm actually gonna bring my YouTube data up here on screen and you can see that 75% of my views are coming from YouTube recommended and only 25% is coming from search. And you read that right. Three out of four people who watch my videos on YouTube are watching because YouTube put my video in front of them and not because they searched it and clicked it up. And because of this, YouTube gets really, really simple. We only really have to worry about two things. Number one is the thumbnail so that people click and watch the video. And number two is keeping them watching with watch retention. And again, we wanna make the thumbnail good so that when YouTube shows people the thumbnail, it has a good thumbnail, it has a good title, and we wanna get that click by any means necessary. And then once they click in to watch the video, we wanna get them to watch a good portion of it because that tells YouTube that that's a good video. And when YouTube determines that that's a good video, they're gonna show it to more people, and more people are gonna click, and more people are gonna watch, and more people are gonna watch for a long time, and then YouTube's gonna send it to more and more and more and more people, and then just like that, you're gonna get a ton of free targeted traffic because YouTube is only gonna show your video to relevant people who they think are gonna be interested in it. And all of these targeted views are gonna watch quality content from you that points them to a link in the description that leads down an opt-in funnel. And all these targeted views and all of these videos are gonna to point to a link in the description to one of your sales funnels. And we do that because you can't DM on YouTube, so you still have to use an opt-in page, you still have to use a sales funnel, but when done right, they still work very, very well. The reason most people are going to fail is because they're not gonna make it to 50 videos. They're gonna quit well before they hit the 50 video mark. I'm not going to, and you're not going to either. Because if done right, 50 quality YouTube videos will be recommended by YouTube for literally years and bring you a steady stream of leads and income and sales without you having to go out and get them every single day. Honestly, it's freaking amazing when it first starts to work because you're like, where are these people coming from? And sometimes it's from a video that you made eight months ago that all of a sudden YouTube decided to pick up and you get all these free leads and all these free sales seemingly from nowhere, but it's because they're all on that long form recommended algorithm and YouTube just kind of decided to pick it up and show it to a new batch of people. It's the best when it happens. And now short form is the complete opposite of long form. You can get a ton of reach and a ton of leads really, really fast with short form traffic. However, you have to keep up on that treadmill because if you stop posting, the leads are gonna dry up almost as fast. So to be able to keep up a sustainable pace over a long period of time, we're gonna post one reel a day and repurpose it over to TikTok talking about the results that our framework gets and answering any questions about it. This content is then gonna ride the algorithms and be brought to the people who are interested in it, who's actually our ideal customer. At that point, we're gonna ask them to drop a comment on the post with a specific keyword, and then the automation takes over. High Level is gonna to reply to that comment, at which point it's gonna shoot them a DM, and then AI is either going to close the sale or send them down the funnel to start a trial with the offer attached. And this is gonna happen 100% without any interaction from us. But not every single video is gonna ask someone to comment a certain phrase so that we can get them into DMs and then sell them something right on the spot. There's gonna be a good chunk of the reels that are going to have someone comment a keyword and then the DM conversation is not gonna push them down a sales funnel, but it's gonna push them to the related long form video to further warm up the lead before asking them to go down a sales funnel. And we're gonna keep this up for an entire year. So basically the input of this equation is 50 long form YouTube videos around various topics that people are searching and problems that people are trying to solve and 365 short videos that are posted across two platforms. And the output from that is going to be way more than 100 customers that we acquired for free. And then the last phase is gonna be creating some sort of mass conversion system. 
At some point during the content creation process, we're gonna reach a critical mass, so to speak, where there's gonna be enough traffic and leads coming in that I'm gonna fill a weekly live webinar room every single week on autopilot. At that point, we're basically gonna flip the conversion process from a free course and a VSL over to a webinar model and then really pour gas on the fire. But that's a whole different framework for a whole different video. Listen, if you like what you see, I've given you plenty enough to get started. You can take action on this today. And if you wanna see more of how I'm getting the 2000 customers on my white label high level, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want a step-by-step -step setup process and actually interact with me in the mastermind, there's gonna be a link in the description for a free course. And having said that, I will see you in one of these two videos up here in the corner.